Hey friends, welcome back to our channel and we are the Pom Pom Sisters. In today's video, I have my middle child here, Kaylani, and we are going to restyle her hair into two of her styles for the last week of school so we can get on to these summer styles where we can bring on the colors. Because of their school, I can't do a whole lot of colors, so I plan on definitely bringing the colors back this summer. So before we jump if into this video, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would greatly love to have you here and to all of my returning subscribers. Hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. Hope you've been blessed and safe as always. So we started off fast in the beginning. I had already applied some leave-in conditioner to her hair and I am detangling her hair because she is freshly washed. And now we're going to begin styling her hair. I decided to go in with a cute rubber band style in the front. I found this inspiration on my Instagram page and I thought it was super cute and I thought it would look really good on Kehlani. Lately, she's just been wanting buns and a single ponytail. And y'all know I just can't just do a a simple ponytail not at all so to add a little bit of pizzazz to it I'm doing a cute little rubber band style for the color scheme I decided to go in with a cute orange and purple definitely giving off some Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibes and I love this color combination I'm using the let's jam conditioning gel to help lay all her hair down and this helps with the hold and gives her a nice beautiful shine to her hair and of course I attempt to do some baby hairs we already know no, this is not my forte. I speak very highly of how beautiful my girl's baby hairs are, but I do not know how to style them, honey. Absolutely not. Once I complete the rubber band styles in the front, it's now time to put this up into a nice high ponytail. I'm obsessed with Kehlani's curls, but they are very much high maintenance. They require me to at least brush them and restyle them every other day. So doing a bun helps me to at least allow her hair a break so I don't have to touch it as often. In. so she's going to get a cute messy bun so once i installed that ponytail i allowed her hair to dry overnight so this is the next morning and for her messy bun it's pretty simple i just take a hot hair tie i pull it about halfway through to where her curls are still kind of hanging out and then i fold that remaining in half and then just secure it again with the rest of the ponytail holder and it's going to look nice and curly and messy and of course that is the point now as you can see she got a few little flyaways going on so i'm taking some edge control Control to lay those down and I'm gonna smooth those out with this uh, toothbrush and that is going to help hold everything down for her for the school week or for the school day because honey she's gonna come back and it's gonna look like I never touched her head but it, it's just one of them sacrifices when it comes to styling Kaylani's beautiful loose curls so this is it for her cute messy bun and the style lasted her two days until I had to go back and restyle it Let's get into this quick ad break. So this ad is brought to you by Timu. I am so in love with Timu. The life hack website literally has something for everyone at heart to beat prices. For these items, I search a baddie outfit, skinny dresses, and micro dresses. Something cute for the summer. Check my description box down below for the discount code to save your money. You are going to want to try out these cute and adorable outfits this summer. Moving on to the last style for this video. So I rewashed Kehlani's hair and now I want to put some braids into it because I love seeing braids on Kehlani. So I'm going in with the Twinned Ivy for Mixed Kids Curls Detangling Refresher Spray. And I love this detangling spray. It definitely helps with softening her hair. And with Kehlani, she experiences a lot of tangles with her curls, especially if I am not on top of it with the, when it comes to restyling and taking care of her curls every other day, which is often because life gets busy and with three girls and including myself and in doing hair I definitely get behind when it comes to their hair care routine and maintenance but this product helps me in the long run it definitely gives this silky pretty curls back to Kehlani's once tangled hair and I love that. So I'm going across her hair with a part from ear to ear right across the crown because that first half is going to be put into cornrows. So I'm trying my best to do a middle part straight down her forehead and again my parts are always clean but they are never straight. 
It never straight. I don't know what it is. Now I wanted to incorporate some zigzag parts too. So when I do my zigzag parts, I first start off with a straight part and then I just kind of create triangles around that straight part. This is going to make sure that I keep the zigzags as uh, straight as possible without them kind of veering off to the side too much. But with zigzag parts, they don't have to be perfect, but I do try to keep it as even as possible the, again. I'm gonna have clean parts, but they might not be straight. So I'm going in with that Let's Jam Conditioning Gel because that's what helps me get those nice, clean and crisp parts. And what I do is I apply it straight onto the section that I just parted and then go right back over and retrace it with my nice fine tooth comb. Once I have my zigzag part done, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that gel to lay down her edges and I'm going to begin corn rolling. Now, I do not know how to teach how to corn roll. I am so sorry. I wish I could teach it, but I'm going to show you because I feel like the best method is visual. So here I am beginning to corn roll Kehlani's hair. Now it can be a little tricky because she does have this fine loose curl. She doesn't have a whole lot of texture. So when it comes to doing her corn rolls, I definitely have to go slow and make sure that I'm picking up her hair because sometimes I will miss an entire section just because I have a hard time gripping her hair. So definitely take my time. Once I get towards the end, I'm going to tie it all up with some white rubber bands. And instead of doing one ponytail, we are doing two. And I am going to secure that with a rubber band or hair tie. This time I allowed her curls to stay out in place. So all I did was spiral her hair around my finger to create this cute little early temple curl. And I allowed that to air dry overnight. And this is what she is looking like at the end of everything. I added in some knockers or hair balls and that is going to complete her look. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair video here on our channel. We greatly appreciate having you here. Don't forget to check out our mini hair tutorials and videos here on our channel and we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe